Alright, part two of animations in Atlantis. In our perspectives, we have several different options of perspectives. Perspective is our uh, standard two-dimensional flat image rendering. But the one that we want to have a look at now is animations. And animations is, compared to Archicad, it's essentially the fly-through or walk-through option. You'll notice that when we bring that in, it, it doesn't have anything there. So that's a bit of a, a problem. We need to have a model to start with. So what we're going to do is go back to Perspectives, right-click on this view, and then we're going to say Add to Sequence List. And again, it's a bit strange because these names are different. So here it's called Sequence List, but then when we go to Perspectives, it's called Animation. Animations and Sequence List is the same thing. So if you get stuck, that's what we're doing. Now we don't want this top one, so we're going to delete that. And we're going to use this perspective to generate, or this um, sequence, to generate a animation. In order to do that best, you see down the bottom now that we have a, a timeline. And this is very similar to, say, if you're using a, a video editing program or maybe even something like GarageBand, it's recording time and then over this period of time we can add effects, we can add animations, we can add movement and we can even add or change light. So changing into our 2D views, what we want to do on this right hand top side is activate or deactivate edit path mode. At the moment it's grey so that means it's deactivated now that it's indented, that means it's now activated. With my camera, there's a few things to note. The red dot is where I am, where I'm looking, where I'm standing, the, the lens or the nose of the camera, if you like. The blue dot is my target. The target isn't very important in Archicad, <coughs> but the target is immensely important in Atlantis, as you'll see. I can't create a multiple viewed path in Atlantis. I can only view in one direction. Sorry, that's not quite true. I can only view to one point, to one target. My target can't move. In Archicad, my target can move. So what I'm going to do is drag a path and we're seeing that that's creating a, um, a red line and that red line is my path. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit I'm going to right click on that path and add a control point. We see that control point turns into a white dot and just like in Archicad, that means I can drag that dot and therefore adjust or move my path. I'm going to add another one, right click, add control point and move it so I'm hopefully not um, walking over my pool on water. Hopefully I'm going to walk outside and through my gate but I can't quite do it in one go again so I'm going to have to do it in a few different goes. So I'm going to add a few more control points and you see just like in Archicad um, adding the spline it gets more and more complicated and it's not really nice if we do it too much because we start to get a, a strange path but it's mostly creating what I want to do. So here's my path and as far as I'm concerned I should be walking forward but let's see what happens. Once I've um, finished my path, I'm just going to click this again. Now we can see this is the path I'm traveling, just if there was any confusion. We'll close this window down. And so I've got another little window here which is hiding stuff. I'm just going to shrink my window a bit if I can. And we're going to press play and see what happens. Whoa, what's going on? So like I said before, the target is very, very important. If I go back to my 2D view and get back into my activation path, look where my target is. My target is here. This is the blue dot. Remember how I was talking about the red dot and the blue dot? The red dot disappeared and it's now a white dot, but we can see this is my camera. But my blue dot stayed where it is. It wasn't heading forward. It wasn't staying in line with where I was walking. It just remained in the same place. 
This can be useful tool to have a static viewpoint, but I find it's a little bit restrictive in how Artlantis works. It means that if we want to do what we have done previously in ArchiCAD, we need to string several animations together. So let's move where that target is. This little area here is the actual project. This is all the existing. This is the, the concept for the rumpus room that I've been working on for this project. I've moved it into the middle of the space. I'm going to um, maybe stop this camera a bit shorter, just so it's not so strange. Let's finish that off, and let's have another look and see if this makes more sense. So as an animation, that makes heaps more sense now. We've still got a locked target. We're always looking in that particular place. But if we choose a clever place to position our target, that means that we will be, unlike in ArchiCAD sometimes, we won't feel like we're on a roller coaster ride. The reason why we often feel like we're on a roller coaster ride in ArchiCAD's animations is because our head's turning left and right continuously. And that's not very normal, not very natural. Um, Atlantis avoids that by having a locked target. And that's the end for this video. We'll pick up this in part three.